Open, you take that jump, you don't feel the fall. Hope when the water rises, you build a wall. Hope when the crowd screams out, you're screaming your name. Hope if everybody runs, you choose to stay. Good and generous God, we are grateful for the journey that has brought us to this moment of joy, inspiration, and accomplishment. We ask that you mantle these students in your love and hope as we affirm dreams, confirm commitment, and attest achievement. We ask this in the name of God our Father, Jesus his Son, and the Spirit who unites us as one. Amen. Welcome Martin Harold College of Nursing and Health graduates, family members, friends, and our wonderful nursing faculty. Thank you for joining us virtually today for the nursing pinning ceremony. Congratulations, nursing graduates, on your academic accomplishments. We could not be prouder of you. You've chosen an important profession, one worthy of honor, especially in these unprecedented times. You've learned from our talented and extraordinary faculty how to see like a nurse and think like a nurse, and how to continue to be a lifelong learner throughout your career. You will see the fruits of your countless hours of study and effort in the faces of the many people that you help throughout your career. We are proud of your academic accomplishment and your lives dedicated to compassionate service to others. Blessings to each of you. As you begin your journey as a graduate of Mount Mercy University and as a nurse. Hello, my name is Chandice Covington and I serve as the Dean of Nursing at Mount Mercy University at the Martin Harold College of Nursing and Health. We welcome you today to Nursing Pinning. You have been anticipating this moment for many years, I am sure. Today is the day. We are here today to both congratulate you and also remark upon your achievements as a baccalaureate nursing student and now the holder of a BSN, the most difficult degree that you could have chosen of all the baccalaureate degrees that are out there. This is the only degree where you may have to be somewhere at 6 a.m. with a clean uniform on, white shoes, smiling, and evidence to take care of two or three patients with varying needs from simple to very complex. That is quite the feat. You may have chosen this journey as a child. You may have received the call to be a nurse as an adult. You may already be a registered nurse and decided to complete your baccalaureate. Whatever reason you are here today, we are so pleased with your achievements. Now the next step is to take those achievements and begin your practice. You are armed with a state-of-the-art nursing education, cultural sensitivity, communication techniques, a knowledge of population health. You are ready. In this practice, it may be in Iowa, it may be across the world, or maybe both, but all seven of you share something. You are a cohort. You'll never forget each other. You will stay in touch. You will become alumni. But you 70 new nurses will contribute 50 years each average as a nurse. That equals 3,000 years of nursing care service. Can you imagine? You have given society a gift. I would like to close my remarks in honor of Sister Catherine McCauley that y'all passed every day in the Donnelly Building, she's right outside. At her feet, there's a lovely poem titled, Tender Courage, Connecting the Rich with the Poor, the Healthy to the Sick, those educated and skilled to those in need of education and skill, those influential to those forgotten, those with power to give to the weak. And through this, 
doing the work of God on earth. Thank you. Battle buddies is a term I hear so often from my friends in the military. A battle buddy is someone who is expected to help their partner in and out of combat. In some ways, this term greatly applies to the last four years. Exams, projects, ATI, presentations, case studies, care plans, simulations, clinicals, and preceptorships all made up our battlefield. Going through these obstacles to reach our destination of graduating. It hasn't been easy, but we've had some help along the way from our instructors and each other. But no group is ever a well-oiled machine without a leader. Someone who takes the role of pulling those under them and says, you can do this and I'm here to help. One of the biggest things I personally brag about from Mount Mercy is our professors in the nursing program. Time and time again, I've seen these wonderful women care about us, advocate us, help us, and teach us. Professors that have genuinely made us feel known outside the walls of nursing student. For always magnifying our strengths, we would all like to thank you guys for yours. Dr. Covington, although you haven't been here long, it is so evident that you are dedicated to our learning, the professors, and willing to take the time to get things done. Roberta, you keep things running and I'm pretty sure this place would fall apart if it wasn't for you. Kim, you so greatly care about us as students and as people, and I'm pretty sure you've hugged every student at least twice. Anne, it is so admirable that your care for others go beyond, goes beyond our borders and you always have a smile on your face coming to class. Also, I personally find it admirable that you brought me pickles to class. Carol, you are incredibly organized. If anyone has a question, we always know we can count on you to have the answer or get it for us. Sally, you keep things together. Things fall apart and you know how to fix it. Melody, you bring class to life, you make it real, and you make it fun. Julie, you care so deeply about those around you and it really shows through your lectures and the way you treat others. Kathy, you are incredibly understanding, calm, and collected in any situation that arises. Melinda, you are so strong and you advocate for us. You meet people where they're at and I would strongly advocate that you have the best jokes. Jody, you are the most quotable professor. You're fun to be around and you're easy to learn from. Nikki, you are always willing to problem solve and work with us no matter what the problem is. Audrey, you make the best tests and case studies. There's always stifling laughter when we have to do something that you've made. Thanks for always being an outlet for a good laugh. These professors have been our biggest cheerleaders, keeping us going and believing in us even when we didn't believe in ourselves. I would love to sit and go through every single name on that program and talk about each and every one of you and the wonderful qualities that you possess, but we would be listening to my speech probably for a few days if that were so. But I think the biggest thing about our class as a whole is the resilience that has been shown in the last four years. I've watched those around me for the past four years endure hardship. Some lost family members, some had to retake a class, failed exams, lost friends, had family members across the country, and so many more tragic obstacles that stood in our way of graduating. But every single time something happened, you all stood up and you said, this will not defeat me. Everyone helped each other. We picked everyone up and we kept going. No one gave up and no one let anyone fall behind. Everyone persevered and helped those around them along the way. The challenges we have faced in the past four years have made us battle buddies. We will all remember each other for the rest of our lives. So to all my battle buddies, I hope you find rest in the next few weeks before you take NCLEX and start your journeys as a nurse. I hope you all get your dream jobs and you get into your graduate schools that you wanna to get to and every goal that you set for yourself is achieved. I so hope when someone comments on how well your skills are that you proudly talk about Mount Mercy in your class of 2020. Thank you all for the past four years and I wish the absolute best for each and every one of you. Thank you. Mallory Allen. Mallory is from Tiffin, Iowa. She has accepted a position in the ICU at the VA hospital in Iowa City. She would like to thank her parents, friends, and faculty for the love and support they provided her through school. Mallory would also like to give a special thanks to her preceptors, Alex Ewalt and Justin Thornburg, for having so much faith in her as a nurse. We couldn't have done it without you guys. Lauren Becker. Lauren is from Jessup, Iowa, and has accepted a position on the Med Surge Oncology Unit at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. Lauren would like to thank her family, friends, and her instructors who have supported her during this journey through nursing school. Riley Blood. Riley from Marion, Iowa, accepted a job in the emergency department at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. She would like to thank her parents 
Chris and Wendy for all of their support and always pushing her to do her best. She would also like to thank her friends for helping her study and be the support group she needed. Finally, Riley would like to thank her fiance, Hunter, for always being her rock. Larissa Boyson. Larissa is from Cedar Falls, Iowa. She has accepted a position at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. She is very excited to start her nursing career on the Surgical Neurology ICU. She would like to thank her family, friends, and faculty who have guided and supported her through her time at Mount Mercy. Winnie and Dege. Winnie is from Nairobi, Kenya. Winnie has accepted a job in the Medical Surgical Cardiology Unit at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. She would like to thank God for successfully completing nursing school. She would like to thank her family, friends, classmates, and teachers who have supported her throughout nursing school. Special thanks to her son, Charlie, her husband, Simon, sister-in-law, Judy, and her mother, Edna, who encouraged and believed in her. Margie Colon. Margie is currently undecided. She would like to thank her husband, Mario, and her family who have supported her while pursuing her bachelor's degree in nursing. It has not been an easy road and she couldn't have done it without their support. Abigail Dennis. Abigail is pursuing her nursing career in Colorado. She would like to thank all of her teammates, friends, and family who have supported her these last four years. Special thanks to her parents, Dale and Wendy, and sisters, Katie and Danny. Abigail is extremely grateful for all of the friendships and memories she has made bonding with her classmates through studying, clinical experiences, and coffee dates. She couldn't have done it without you. Madeline Dickinson. Madeline has lived in Cedar Rapids for the last eight years. Maddie has accepted a position in the NICU at Mercy Medical Center. She plans to continue taking graduate classes in the fall to pursue her master's degree. Maddie would like to thank her husband, Jake, her three sons, Rowan, Reed, and Remington, her parents, Jeff and Peggy, and the rest of her friends and family for their love, patience, and support. Amber Eternal. Amber from Loves Park, Illinois, has accepted a job at the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital. She will be on level nine, which is orthopedics neurology. She would like to thank all her friends and family who have supported her over these past four years. Special thanks go to her parents and her best friend, Kate. She couldn't have done it without them. Rebecca Fagan. Rebecca is from Kyoto, Iowa. Rebecca has accepted a nursing position in the Neuroscience Immediate Inpatient Unit at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. She would like to thank her professors, friends, family, and especially her parents and aunts. She would have not gotten to where she is today without all of the continued love and support she has received throughout these last four years of nursing school. She is forever grateful. Jamie Feltis. Jamie will accept a job at either Mercy Medical Center or Unity Point St. Luke's Hospital on a medical surgical unit in Cedar Rapids. She would like to thank her family for their unending support and encouragement. She would also like to thank the Mount Mercy University nursing staff, especially Carol Hine, for being the best nursing advisor a student could ask for. This wouldn't have been possible without all of their support. Rachel Gadint. Rachel is from Monticello, Iowa. She recently accepted a job on 3 West Medical Surgical Unit at St. Luke's Hospital in Cedar Rapids after graduation. She would like to thank all of her family and friends who have supported her during her four years in nursing school. Special thanks to her parents who have always supported her and believed in her no matter what. She could have not done it without you. Peyton Haslett. Peyton is from Center Point, Iowa. She has accepted a nurse residency position in the adult cardiac step-down track at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. She would like to thank her parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, siblings, cousins, and friends that helped guide her through school and give her never-ending support. She hopes to make you all proud. Jessica Howard. 
Jessica is from Oswego, Illinois. She has accepted a job in the behavioral health float pool at St. Luke's Hospital. She would like to thank all of her friends, family, and faculty who have supported her through these four years in nursing school. Special thanks to Kim, Shayla, Tani, Benjamin, and her mom and dad who have continued to support her through this major life change. Lauren Kraminga. Lauren is from Cedar Rapids. Lauren will begin working in the ICU at St. Luke's Hospital. She thanks her husband, children, parents, staff, and faculty in the nursing department. Elena Cooper. Elena Marie Cooper is from Independence, Iowa. She has accepted a position at St. Luke's Hospital on the Pulmonary Specialty Unit in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Elena would like to thank the people that have helped her through her journey to become a nurse. She would like to extend a special thanks to Susie, Al, Austin, Ashley, John, Terry, Diana, and her classmates. Without all of you helping her along this journey, it would not have been possible. Alexa Lammers. Alexa has accepted a job on a medical oncology unit at Mercy One Dubuque. She would like to thank all of her friends and family, especially her parents, boyfriend, and roommates who have supported her during her four years in nursing school. She could not have done this without each and every one of you. Jennifer Lee. Jennifer Lee was born at Mercy Hospital in Iowa City, where she currently works. She plans to stay in the area and can't wait to start working as a registered nurse. She would like to thank all of her friends, family, professors, classmates, and clinical instructors who have supported her through this journey. Special thanks go out to her parents, Jason and Misty, and her fiance, Jerry, for all the love and encouragement to pursue her dreams. Erica Lichty. Erica is from Wayland, Iowa. She has accepted a job in the critical care float pool at Mercy here in Cedar Rapids. She plans to continue on to finish her master's degree in nursing with an emphasis on nursing education. Special thanks to her mom, Karen, and dad, Gary, for letting her practice assessment skills on them. And thank you to Mary, both Emily's, and Maddie for their friendship and laughter. Meredith Mackey. Meredith is from Roseville, Minnesota. She has accepted a job in Minnesota for a pediatric home health agency where she will be working with patients who require a variety of specialized medical services in their homes. She would like to thank her friends, family, and professors for facilitating personal, academic, and spiritual growth over these four years. Thank you to her parents, grandparents, Janie and Graham, Stefan, and Father Tony for all going above and beyond in their support. Brianna March. Brianna is from Earlville, Iowa. She would like to thank her parents, Ed and Tammy March, siblings Shelby and Anthony, and the rest of her family and friends for all the support during her nursing journey. She would also like to thank Leah Baseman, her preceptor, for being such a wonderful teacher and showing her how to be the nurse she strives to be in the future. Ellen Matheny. Ellen is from Shueyville, Iowa. Ellen plans to work for St. Luke's Hospital in Cedar Rapids. She would like to thank her family for all their support over the last four years. Special thanks to her dad and Marla, her sister April, and her Aunt Sally. She couldn't have done it without their tremendous support and helpfulness. Ellen would like to thank you all for believing in her. Murfat Amin Mohammed. Murfat is a mother of two. She is originally from Sudan and lives in Iowa City. She will be moving to California in a couple months to join her husband. She would like to thank everyone who contributed to her success, family, friends, special thanks to her mom and dad, Abu Bakr, Adela, Leoria, Shagila, and Lisbo. Thank you to Mont Mercy's nursing staff 
for all their help and support. Franchella Sonia Munizo Mapasi. Sonia is an international student from the Republic of Congo. She would like to thank her family and friends who have supported her throughout her four years in nursing school. Special thanks to her dad, Gwendolyn, who stayed up late at night with her to study. Faculty, who took initiatives to address concerns. Mungi, classmates, and everyone else who believed in her even when she didn't. Most importantly, she would like to give thanks to God. Madison Niece. Madison is from Denver, Iowa. Madison has accepted a job as a float pool nurse at Allen Memorial Hospital in Waterloo, Iowa. Madison's future plans include getting her SANE nurse certification and becoming a nurse practitioner specializing in emergency medicine. She would like to thank her parents, Kevin and Sarah, her brother Mason, her family at Bethany, Carrie Hazlett, the Three Heart staff, her clinical instructors and professors, her fellow nursing classmates, and above all Christ, to him forever be the glory. Morgan Olson. Morgan has accepted a job in the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit and Pediatrics Unit at St. Luke's Hospital in Cedar Rapids. Morgan would like to thank her family and friends who have supported, encouraged, and loved her during the four years of nursing school. Special thanks to her parents, Rick and Nancy, her grandparents, David and Thelma, and her classmates who went through the journey with her. You have helped her to get where she is today. Emily Queen. Emily is from Marion, Iowa. She would like to thank her parents for all the love and support they have given her during her time in nursing school. Exodus 15 verse 2 states, the Lord is my strength and my song. And this verse has been of particular comfort and encouragement to her on her nursing school journey. She hopes to one day be able to use her nursing skills on mission trips to various countries. Shayla Rail. Shayla is from Marion, Iowa. She has accepted a neonatal intensive care unit position at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics following graduation. She would like to thank her mother and father, friends, and faculty who supported her throughout nursing school. Special thanks to Matthew for always believing in her, Jordan and Kara, her biggest fans, Jessica, Lexi, and Brianna for always lending a helping hand and Nick and Annie for making sure she always had a place to call home. You were her rock. Michaela Rains. Michaela is from Nevada, Iowa. She has accepted a position at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics in the Medical Intensive Care Unit. Michaela would like to thank her family, friends, and John to know that she is extremely thankful for them and would not be here today if it wasn't for their love and support. Special thanks to her mother for being the best guardian angel throughout nursing school. Kimberly Sheridan. Kim is from Naperville, Illinois and has accepted a position at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics on the Cardiothoracic Unit. She would like to thank all of her family and friends who have supported her throughout her nursing school experience. Special thanks go to her parents, Bill and Nancy, as well as the Akers family, Kelly, Danielle, Marley, Madison, and Renna. 
she will forever appreciate the love and support they have shown her. Tim Smith, Timothy Smith has accepted a job for Mercy Medical Center in the Medical Surgical Float Pool. Special thanks to his wife Mandy for her dedication and support. Frank Davis and Grandpa Nettison for their financial support. Special thanks to Gerald Anzalone, Nick Sagan, Joe McDonald, Danielle Rudd, Joseph Hendricks, Melody Jolly, Erica Lichty, Emily Queen, Kim Bro, and others who cared, helped him study and understand the assigned topics. These people make this journey easier. Kelsey Snyder. Kelsey is from Hopkinton, Iowa. She accepted a position in the emergency department at St. Luke's Hospital in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Kelsey would like to thank all of her family, friends, and faculty for all their continued support. Kayla Stammer. Kayla Stammer from Vermilion, South Dakota has accepted a job in the NICU at the University of Iowa. She would like to thank her family, friends, and coaches for their support during her four years in nursing school. Special thanks to her mom, dad, and sister who were never more than a phone call away and for being her biggest fans. She could not have done it without you. Sarah Tegler. Sarah is from Dyersville, Iowa and has accepted a job at the University of Iowa Steed Family Children's Hospital in the NICU. She would like to thank all of her family, friends, and professors for always being supportive throughout this journey of nursing school. A special thank goes out to her parents and fiance for all of their constant encouragement and love. She wouldn't have been able to do it without all of you. Kristen Vanderwilt. Kristen has accepted a job at Unity Point Des Moines in telemetry and behavioral health. She would like to thank her friends and family for the endless support over the past four years. Special thanks to Colton, Stacy, Mari, Jean, Barb, and Bryce for always helping her mentally and physically through her schooling years. Carly Walker. Carly has accepted a job at the Surgical and Hall Perrine Oncology Inpatient Center at Mercy Medical Center in Cedar Rapids. She would like to thank all her friends and family for supporting her during the last four years of nursing school. Another thanks to her soccer teammates for pushing her to work hard to become the strong athlete and student she is today. She thanks her parents, Brian and Jennifer. She could not have done it without you. Alyssa Weldon. Alyssa is from Oxford, Iowa and has accepted a position in the medical ICU at the University of Iowa Hospital. She would like to thank her friends, family, and instructors who supported her throughout nursing school. Allison is from Kelowna, Iowa. She plans to work in the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit at the University of Iowa Steed Family Children's Hospital after graduation. She would like to thank her teammates, coaches, friends, and family, especially her parents that have supported her throughout nursing school. Brittany Wood. Brittany has accepted a job in the Women's Post-Surgical Mother-Baby Unit at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. She would like to thank her family, friends, and the Mount Mercy University nursing faculty. She would specifically like to thank her parents, her boyfriend, and her advisor, Julie. She is grateful for the support and ready to be a nurse. Allison Woods. Allison is from Center Point, Iowa, and has accepted a job at Penrose Hospital in Colorado Springs on their oncology unit. She would like to thank all of her beloved friends and family who have encouraged her throughout college. Special thanks to her grandpa, who inspires her daily, her wonderful aunts, her mom, who introduced her to the world of oncology, her dad and sister for being there every step of the way. Now for our Sister Mary Edward Award. Annually, this award is given by the nursing faculty to the graduating senior who has best demonstrated academic ability, professional integrity, and the spirit of nursing. The award, named after Sister Mary Edward McConaughey, who not only led a distinguished nursing career, including being among the first nurses in the nation to obtain a PhD, but also started in 1933, the Mercy Hospital School of Nursing, located in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Today, Mercy Medical Center continues as a strong and dedicated clinical education partner for our university. This year, the nursing faculty of the college have selected James Burke, a December 2019 BSN graduate whose hometown is Downers Grove, Illinois. He is the recipient of the Sister Mary Edwards Award due to his abilities in the areas that we mentioned. James, the faculty and I commend you for outstanding academic and clinical practice achievements and wish you an enduring, excellent career in your neonatal nursing practice at St. Luke's Medical Center in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. 
Congratulations. Now we will present the Dr. Mary Tarbox Professionalism in Nursing Award, which recognizes a graduating senior who threw their time in the Martin Harrell College of Nursing and Health at Mount Mercy University, demonstrates not only the values of nursing, but a constant commitment to professionalism and advocacy in nursing. This award named after former Dean Mary Tarbox serves as a reminder of the professional values and qualities of nursing. The recipient for this academic year is Meredith Mackey. Meredith has been a role model to her peers, both within the College of Nursing, as well as campus-wide through campus ministry, and as a class representative at several levels. Meredith will receive a one-year membership to the American Nurses Association, paid for by Mount Mercy Student Nurses Association, in recognition of her commitment to the profession of nursing. Congratulations, Meredith. Your study here at Mount Mercy University rests on the legacy of academic excellence and compassionate service. In the spirit of our Mercy tradition, I invite you and all healthcare professionals with us today to extend your hands, palms up, and focus on them as I pray. Generous and gracious God, we ask a blessing upon these hands, which were first formed by you in love, to extend healing and be love to our world. We pray for these hands, which will embrace others with compassion, care for those most in need of healing, strengthen the suffering, Give peace to those in fear and pain. Attend death and comfort those who mourn. Wipe away tears. Reach out to another. Carry out needed and necessary task. Hold the promise of your future. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who will bless you and give you all that you need to fulfill his purpose in your life. Amen. In benediction, we pray. Loving and merciful God, as we close this time of celebration and milestone, we gratefully ask for your continued presence to shape who we are personally and professionally. The wisdom and dedication of our teachers who have inspired us as lifelong learners and the support of family and friends who will steady us as we chart new paths. As we continue our journey beyond Mount Mercy University. Let us find meaning and purpose in our daily labor. Serve others in the simple and ordinary and make a difference wherever we go through our healing presence. We raise this in the name of our God, now and forever, amen. I've been waiting for this moment all my life now all my dreams are coming true yeah I've been waiting for this moment It's good to be alive right about now Ooh. Good, 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 good